local psychologist and I am putting out a series of videos this week on common things that I find get in people's way of success. So in the first video, I referred to fears, lots of different kinds of fears really acting as a barrier. In this video, I wanna focus on what we call in psychology land um, as schemas. Now, this might be a very odd sort of concept or something that you've never heard of before, but in describing that, basically as humans, we have uh, cultured and developed certain lenses and ways that we see the world right from day dot when we were born, our life experiences, the way that we were brought up, the things that we were exposed to, um, the challenges that we've had, have over time moulded certain lenses um, and ways that we see the world. Now, with the idea of schemas, so basically um, any person can subscribe to some particular lenses that we find unfortunately create challenges in their lives. So there is a range of different schemas that we know about. In fact, there's 18. So there's 18 different types of lenses um, that people tend to subscribe to. Now, the general person might have two, three, or four prominent lenses or schemas um, in seeing in the way that they see the world. So uh, there's lots of different ways that psychologists can um, uh, assess schemas, work out which ones are more prominent for people, get them to understand what the lenses do, um, and then they can start working on uh, some of the barriers that those lenses pose so that the person is one, aware that the lens exists, Two, understand what the lens does and how it interferes. And three, can put some strategies in place for better managing that unfortunate lens. So I'll give you a couple of examples of some of the lenses that people find um, get in the way of their success. Um, one of them is the self-sacrifice schema. So that's a lens that people wear that pretty much subscribes that they will always deprioritize themselves in situations. So they're always putting others before themselves. They make decisions based on prioritizing other, other people's needs um, and they just don't seem to um, put themselves first. Now, for somebody that's trying to achieve a level of success in their life, um, it gets really tricky because they might be really motivated, they might be really sort of um, clear on the goals that they want to achieve uh, and they start working on that. But time and time again, they find themselves um, deprioritizing themselves in, in ways that prevent them from really reaching that goal. So for example, Let's take a person named Sally. So Sally is a, um, you know, she's a successful businesswoman. She's a mum. She's, you know, a partner of 15 years. Um, and she's got this idea that she would really like to start a home business. Um, she's got these great business ideas and um, but it's going to take up a lot of her time and being a working mum she's really really busy so she starts plotting out ways of getting this home business up and running she works full time you know she's also got um, young children so there's lots and lots of competing demands there now unfortunately for Sally she's got a self-sacrifice schema so she starts plotting and planning all of her business preparations but then what she finds is that she starts feeling guilty for spending time on that. And she feels like her children might be missing out on things as a result of that, or she's not able to fully um, commit to her parenting role, or she seems a little, she feels like she's a bit sort of distracted at work. And then as a result, she stops working on planning her home business because all of this guilt builds up and she's kind of like, oh, not the right time. I just don't you know, feel like I can give it 100%. She starts making all of these excuses as to why that's not a good idea, even though this is something that she really wants to do in her life. Unfortunately for Sally, every time she tries to do something for herself that's working towards achieving an outcome, her self-sacrifice comes in and she starts making excuses and she starts prioritizing other people's needs and you know and, and most of it's out of guilt or feelings of discomfort um, and as a result she gets stuck 
you know, and, and with the stuckness builds a degree of resentment. So she starts to get frustrated and angry that she can't seem to, you know, get that business idea off the ground because, you know, she's got a busy life and she, she tends to blame things on the external rather than look in and go, what is it that I'm doing that's preventing me from prioritizing my values and my goals and where I want to go in life? And why do I allow these other lifestyle stresses to impact on my planning and my preparation? around starting up this home business so it's fascinating this these lenses that exist for people everybody has them there's 18 different types you know there's there's other ones around um, you know um, emotional deprivation so feeling like your needs are never going to be met unrelenting standards feeling like you can just never achieve the outcome that you want and the bar just keeps moving further and further um, so in my life coaching program, I actually do testing of my participants to work out which schemas are getting in the way. And then we start understanding them in a lot more detail and we start working on how to stop those schemas and all those lifestyle lenses from continuing to stop or ha um, hamper success. So there we go, guys. Here's another thing that seems to get in the way of people really um, wanting to get to where they want to go in life and achieving their goals and living their best life that they possibly can. So I hope that was helpful.